Harrison Ford, 80, has been a Hollywood heartthrob since he first lit up the screen as Hunky Han Solo in 1977's Star Wars. His matinee idol status was solidified as the adventurous archaeologist Dr. Indiana Jones in Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark and its numerous sequels. With Working Girl and Witness, Harrison's movie star magnetism was undeniable. He's set to return to the big screen in one of his most iconic roles as Indiana Jones in the upcoming fifth sequel Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, which will hit theaters on June 30, 2023. Mary Marquardt Harrison and Mary Marquardt, who was born in 1945, wed in June 18, 1964 after meeting at the Liberal Arts College, Ripon College, in Ripon, Wisconsin. Mary graduated with a degree in culinary arts and had a career in the food industry while Harrison worked his way up in Hollywood. The couple welcomed their first son, Benjamin, on September 22, 1966. Their second child, Willard, was born on May 14, 1969. Benjamin would go on to follow in his mother's footsteps as he became a renowned chef and restaurateur in Los Angeles while Willard owns a boxing gym called Strong Sports Gym and his own fashion line, Ludwig Clothing Company. The pair eventually called it quits in 1979. Decades later, the divorce gained renewed attention after Harrison's Star Wars CO star, Carrie Fisher, alleged she and Harrison had an affair while filming the sci-fi blockbuster, during the time he was married to Mary. In her 2016 memoir The Princess Diarist, Carrie wrote of the three-month-long tryst, which she claims happened while she was 19 and Harrison was 33. I was so inexperienced, but I trusted something about him, she said. He was kind. And in an interview with people around the time the book was published, Carrie revealed, it was so intense. It was Han and Leia during the week and Carrie and Harrison during the weekend. Harrison has opened up about his struggles balancing his marriage and career candidly in interviews. Sometimes I think I have been a better actor than husband or father. I had to leave my family behind in order to make money for us to eat, he's said, per The Guardian. Despite some of the difficult period of Mary and Harrison's marriage, the actor's ex-wife doesn't seem to hold anything against him, and they still have a strong bond. Harrison has been a true friend and a great love. He has stood by me quietly, asking for nothing in return, through my darkest days, she said in an interview, per The Guardian. Melissa Matheson Melissa Matheson was born on June 3, 1950 in Los Angeles and became well known in Hollywood for writing the screenplays for 1979's The Black Stallion and 1982's E.T. The Extraterrestrial, the latter of which garnered her a nomination for Best Original Screenplay. As a friend of Francis Ford Coppola, Melissa often visited the set of Apocalypse Now, where she met Harrison, per ABC. In 1983, the couple decided to make it official and married. In 1987, they welcomed son Malcolm and three years later a daughter named Georgia. In 2000, they tried a trial separation before officially filing for divorce in 2004, although it was reported they remained on good terms. The couple is very friendly and everything is very amicable a spokesperson for Harrison told ABC at the time. In 2015, Melissa died at the age of 65 after a battle with cancer. Harrison has spoken about using his life as inspiration for his roles on a few occasions, and he referenced ex-wives and a daughter as part of what made his shrinking character relatable during a February 2023 interview with The Hollywood Reporter. I've got five kids. This guy's got a daughter he doesn't see very often and an ex-wife. There are issues with his family which are not the same issues I have with my family. But there are things we worked our way through, so I found an emotional reality to attend to, he said. While Harrison has been clear that he doesn't always share the same problems with his.